Welcome to a new style of video that I wanted to do for a while, but I kind of didn't really know how to do it. So starting every week, I'm going to try, I'll probably keep up with it. I'm going to talk about or go through the secret rare cards and the price drops, spikes. Should you pick some up? Should you not? Should you wait? So I'm going to start with the secret rares and then I'll probably do promos and all that stuff. If you guys want me to cover anything else, let me know. But I am in tcgplayer.com and then here you can just go to Digimon card game and then just type in secret rare and then they'll filter all the secret rare cards which I thought was cool because I'm like man what secret rare cards am I missing so I'm like oh cool that could actually filter this out so these Vigermons used to be so expensive <laughs> and now they're like what three dollars for the altar which wouldn't be bad to pick up if you don't have any although the promo is just better but I mean you just never know you just never know uh, I'm not going to go over a lot of them. I will say, though, for the Rapid X here, I think you're going to see an uptick up, especially because we got the new uh, Rapid Mon X that was uh, that was announced. So now it's going to bump this up to more attack power, which is good. I don't remember if it's all turns or not, but it's pretty good because it's going to bump up the DP. So Rapid X, I would suggest you pick some up sooner rather than later <clears throat> crimson mode just fell off just because the ace just overtakes it magna still sitting pretty high-ish 40 bucks i would suggest not picking up any of the death x just because we are getting reprints for the lm the lm set includes i think it's lm set includes more death x so i just i wouldn't really bother so you're you're definitely going to see a drop in death x eventually um and any other card that i don't talk about or that sticks out that you think it's going to go up or down in price let me know because i just i mean obviously i don't know everything right i play a majority of the colors but you know there's way more people out there that know more than i do it's crazy this four gray mons eight dollars or nine for three and right now shipping included that's crazy that's crazy so if you're looking for um to play that omnimon deck not even that. We just never know when War Greymon is going to come back. We know Bandai loves Greymon, right? Everyone needs to hate on him and say it's a Greymon card game. Look at that. Now, no one even plays it. Ancient Greymon sitting at $28. I'm not sure if it's spiking up. Look, that's crazy. Look, it was like 15 bucks back in June. Set came out. Oh my god, look at that. $8. Now we jumped up all the way to $33. I would say to wait unless you really want to play it. I made a build where you don't run this Ancient Greymon in the Red Hybrid deck. Yes, it's an optimal build with the Ancient Greymon, but I I will say that it is going to go down just because um, we're getting more hybrid support later on, and which probably going to mix up the ratios. Then going to drop Ancient Greymon. So if you want, if you can wait till then, just wait. But if you got the money, you want to blow it, go for it. So Ancient Garurumon. I, yeah, it's crazy. This one dropped in price. I remember being like $50, $40. I still only have two copies. I'm missing two. So I might just finally pick up the playset. Another card that I suggest you guys should pick up is Lusamon. Just because in EX8, we're finally getting the Lusamon, a Lusamon deck. So you're going to see a uh, price increase in these Lusamon cards. When we get closer to that, especially when it comes out, they're just going to start buying them out. The Mirais, crazy, still sitting at $42. They're dropping, though, right? They were at almost 60 at one point. They are dropping. I think they will drop a little more. It really depends. It's kind of like the, uh, the Rika, the Rika, the Rena for uh, All Force, but is actually good this one you, you can kind of get away with running one or two in the deck the fenrir is sitting at 18 dollars which is going down but i think you're gonna probably see an uptick up a little bit because of the ban list and a lot of people are playing this now and blue hybrid stuff of course uh oh my i remember when this <laughs> see this is what i was talking about so well, actually, let's go back to the Greymon here. Omnimon, if you're missing your Royal Knights, this might be a good time to pick it up. 
it's 49 and yeah it's it's dropping looks like it kind of wants to tick back up but uh what was my initial thought here my initial thought i was going to talk about um actually the, the gray mine here it's crazy this almost got to 20 dollars, and now it's like going back up right so it's like a, almost 30 goes down goes back up a little bit goes down to 20 bucks which i got lucky i needed one more copy and i picked it up for 15 bucks and now it's just going back up is there a reason why i mean i know omnimon deck but there's something i don't think there there hasn't been anything graymon leaked but i mean people just want to pick it up and feel like people buy more they're going to raise the price right supply and demand type of thing got the Bielzaman blast mode this is an alt art for collectors too i mean i would just pick one up if i don't have it i don't even know if i have one susano this card <laughs> I don't even bother getting it because we're gonna get Susano Ace. The metal Garurumon here. This one oh it's crazy. This one actually ticked up. So I think you might see a price drop with this one because there isn't a Garurumon deck or um support for it coming out. However, this card is teched in and quite you know in some blue decks just because of the effect that it could do and it's an overall good card it's much better than the war Greymon, which is why it's sitting at 30 dollars so it's i want to i want to say it's hard to say but i actually think this is going to come back down because people are not going to be playing omnimon next set you know um listen, see this page keeps changing i think okay but anyway let's move on to page two and yeah okay here we already talked some about these uh altar for fighter mode yeah you guys can see it 12 bucks uh it's crazy the altar for fenrir 32 i remember when uh zord defeat used to be like 80 bucks 70 bucks <laughs> then the lm set came out and just like pfft. not only that people just stopped playing it so Imperials, good for a collector's item if you don't have this one. He has 43 cents. I think this is the one that had like a misprint on it. Like a text misprint. Lucimon Chaos, I would suggest picking this up. Like I said, it's all going to shoot up. So if you don't at least have a play set, now's your chance. I mean, they're sitting at like $7. Yeah, well, at least this one. Yeah, see, so like kind of started going up, coming back down, coming back down crazy six bucks so there i think this might be the low as low as it will be for now because then like i said once that ex8 comes out with the lucimon decks you're gonna see it go up for sure 25 cents for the altar bielzaman bt2 Gallimon is crazy um 32 bucks i don't see this one yeah this one shot up because of the Gallimon support it might go back down a little bit, but I don't think it's going to go down by much. Just because the card alone by itself is a good card that you could tech in, you know, like purple decks that trash everything. Um, so long as you can find a way to have this in your hand, play it for free and stuff. So I would probably hold off a bit next set. You're going to... No, you know what? Maybe not, because we do have some more... Gallimon support that was leaked, right? For BT18, I want to say. 60 bucks for that Miri Altar. Um, Alpha Mon or Yukin. If you don't have it, you just never know. They, they're they really random with the Alpha Mon support, but I do see this card still being good unless we get an Ace of Alpha Mon or Yukin, which is highly possible. I mean, they did it for the Paladin mode, Shine Gray. So it's possible so if you want to gamble on you know what it might go lower it's probably not going to be as playable anymore if there is gonna if they are gonna have an ace but if you don't have it i mean i would pick it up it really depends on your budget and stuff but it looks like it kind of wants to go back up but it was sitting at like five close to six dollars machindra this one so i haven't played machindra in a while but this is the good machine German, because as an on plane, you can tuck sources from your trash, right? So if you don't have this one, definitely pick it up because look, it's it went up. Well, it doesn't even look see um 
six months. Oh, yeah. One year. So it looks like the highest it ever got was $10. But it is sitting at four, kind of five ish around that area. So if you are a Machine Drummond player, I don't think we use four anymore for the Machine Drummond decks. I think you can get away with like two. Correct me if I'm wrong. The Ruin mode. Uh, unless you're like playing competitive and you're going to tournaments to play, I would advise you to just wait on it because they are also reprinting the Ruin mode. If I'm not mistaken, which is going to drop the price overall. Angermon. Angermon is also not bad sitting at five bucks, six bucks. Oh, wow. Huh. What happened with that dip right there? Yeah, so it was it wasn't that bad, but it was yeah, I guess it never reached over 30 bucks. But this is one of those cards where I think you're always gonna see play with it, especially with the Patamon, because the Patamon didn't get hit. <laughs> TK did though. But so if you don't have them, I would probably get some. I wouldn't wait. Although they haven't really announced any more no, yeah, we got the uh Shadow Serafi Ace. I just don't know if it's treated as a yeah because i don't think it's a vaccine right well regardless there you go you can get it if you want collector's items five bucks not bad the proxima man alt arts that's crazy how that that all those decks just went like it's like no one even talks about them anymore i remember like i was like thirsty get, trying to get those promo promo bonds promos for uh Gammon, uh, Angoromon, and Jellymon. Thirty-two bucks for the Altar of Ancient Grey, the Fanglong. I... Apocalypse, three bucks. <laughs> well, you only need one, so the Fanglong. I still gotta pick one up. I have three. I I think for the most part this might might have stabilized. I don't think it'll go any lower just because it's a secret and it's a good card. It's not like you know, it's not one of those cards where like eh, it's all right you can uh so for like 10 bucks a pop I mean, again it depends on your budget it might be a little high but you could probably pick one up like every every paycheck be like you know what yeah i'll buy one and the next paycheck get another one until you get all four um talked about the apocalypse this black or gray altar was so expensive back in the day now it's just like five bucks crazy that's the thing with like grading cards i graded some cards and then i just kind of stopped i'm like yeah i think if you grade cards it has to be cards that hold high value or really like sought out right like ghost ghost cards or things like that oh, let's see for the most part i went through all these Graymon textured left 80 bucks the arena see i think like with the arena the price it did go down but now it's kind of ticking up and the reason why it went back up is because of the promo vidramon if not it would have probably stayed in that range but it looks like it's just it might just stay there until we get more vidramon support so it's a tough call as of now there is no more vidramon support for all force so this might tick down but i don't see it probably going below 25 bucks even 20 bucks because this card is just so good for the deck right it's like a staple for the deck then the altar is sitting at 47 dollars so i remember i think it was going for like 80 90 dollars crazy man absolutely crazy this uh altar crimson mode is 20 bucks if you do want to pick it up see this is one of the cards that i did grade was this bell star altar and i think i got it at 10 or 9 9.5 around there Sitting at 30 bucks, it's just a waifu card, it's all tart, and it is getting support, although now the new support is not really going to use this, it's kind of like two different decks. Galactic Mon, I think would be good to pick up, you are going to see an uptick in price because we have uh, Zenith coming out, and he's uh, Galactic, that Alpha Mon all tart, 3 bucks, I would just get it because I don't have it, I like to have a altart at least one and i do have a binder of altarts that i have if you guys want me to make a video of that let me know there's a lot of cards i'm missing though 
Uh, Fangling Altar is 12 bucks. So for like two, three more dollars than the regular one, you can get the Altar. So if you want to spice or shine it up and you know do what you got to do. Shoutman Superior Mode is like two bucks. Now, I don't know. We're getting Shoutman support. It's going to be BT 18, 19, where it's, we're going back to uh, Crosshearts. Is it Crosshearts? We're going back to Crosshearts and Blue Flare. I don't, I'm going to be honest, I don't really play those decks that much. So I don't know how good this card would be. But I don't think you would play like a full set of four. Um, although, yeah, so yeah, I see one. It was just, I guess it's not that good for the deck. I remember I think taking in only one in the deck when I did use it. See, they keep changing on me. I don't, the Alter B spiked up alternate art 32 bucks i think it was a little lower before and now it was used in the omnimon deck so now it went back up angemon altar at 11 dollars examon i'm telling y'all if you don't have examon one day i'll pray we'll probably get more examon support <laughs> anytime soon no <laughs> not at all uh ogudoman this one if you don't have it as well uh I think this is going to be one of those things where like the Royal Knights deck where like as long as you get new cards that has to be like Lilith Mon, anything with like seven great demon lords you can you're going to be able to use for the deck which could maybe possibly spike up the card as of now for a secret I think that's on the cheap end of things although I still haven't built it oh I built it but I haven't played it or played around with it yet I have seen people that only run two or three. I don't think they really run four. The expensive Greymon is 48 bucks. Or I should say the... Actually, the expensive was the left one, right? The right one where Ty is an older guy. Older guy. <laughs> 48 bucks. Basically around 50 bucks. But dang, look, it went from like 125 to what it is now, like $50. That's crazy. I... I I'm not gonna lie, I'm still not gonna buy it, even though I really want it. Although I want the other one, I have more of a nostalgia like tie to it because it's uh tie and carry your little kids. Paladin mode, crazy, one dollar. Shaoman King version, I would say pick this up. Don't know if it's gonna be used, but it's a secret for a dollar. Why not? Same thing with the Omnimon X. This one was used with the Greymon deck, Gabumon deck. It got splashed here and there as a one of, so perfect time to also pick that up if you don't have it. Now going to the last page here. Creepy Mon good. Pizza Apocalypse, not bad if you want to get it. It's less than 10 bucks and you're only gonna need the one because it's restricted to one anyway. The Ogudomon Altart, if you feel like spending money and max max rare probably spend about a hundred bucks a little more for it uh let's see what else here galactic altar is 20 bucks crazy this magna x I, I don't see this ever going down in price 500 bucks the machine the machine drum on altar see so this is what i'm talking about with like these ghost rare cards i think they're gonna hold their value just because they're really they're chase cards, of course. Even the uh, superior altar, seven bucks. <laughs> I'm gonna buy one just so I can have it. Galactic altar, I already talked about it, twenty bucks. But yeah, so those are the cards that I would probably create because, like I said, they'll hold their value. So you look at this Shaoman uh, superior altar. This is the Ghost Rare, seventy bucks. Even the Paladin. Oh, thank God. <clears throat> so I have this Paladin mode, the Ghost one, and I was like so happy when I pulled it. Although he's he's asked to use, but look, see he's seventy bucks, and I have it. Do I have it? I don't have it graded, but I still have it. It's seventy bucks. Yay, yay! Jasmine GX sitting at forty bucks, and the altar of Shoutmon is around four or five bucks. So yeah, even see the Apocalymon, the the special, the second altar. I don't even call it a ghost rare one. Is sixty bucks as well. What are your thoughts? What cards should you pick up that I didn't talk about? What cards did you already pick up? And um, let me know if you want me to keep making more videos like this. I'll do one for like the promos and the 
updated packs. That's where you have the Leo Mon X antibody and the, the Vidramon promo. Uh, that'll definitely be fun. So uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video.